Hey folks, how y'all doing tonight? I'm just doing a little update on uh, my wood stove. I uh, put a thermostat in it. For my blower that is, it goes from uh, I think 90 degrees on up to 140 and it's adjustable with a screwdriver. And I just installed it and put a new plug on my blower motor. Let me show y'all how I did it. Alright, here we go. I'll okay, do a little tour. But I took some sheet metal head, heavy gauge sheet metal. And uh, went over here and uh, I cut my pattern out the way I wanted it and uh, cut it out. Then I bent it with my, I cut it out with my, with my snips. Then I went ahead and uh, uh, bent it with my little bender I got from Grizzly, Grizzly Tools. Yeah, that's a nice little bender for the, you know, for little little stuff. But yeah, it does the job. Anyway, I'm gonna go here over here show show you all y'all what I did. But uh, I wanted the, the thermostat on it. Reason being, uh, so I could uh, you know, set set it and just set it and forget it. <laughs> So yeah, we do keep the stove a little cooler. I mean, it's, you know, we'll use the heat that it's got from the blower and everything. Let me get this thing all set up right. Y'all bear with me for a second. I gotta adjust this bad boy. But anyway, oh man, I hate when that happens. That's gonna be a stinky video. All right, y'all right, bear with me for a second. This one more fancy. Uh, tripod. Right here, as you see. Watch plug. And I and I went took the extra caution uh, and I put insulation. It's a good thermal um, insulation shield on my over top of my wires. And as y'all can see here, it goes down and it's shielded. Just use what I had, and I lined up with, with my dad's uh, fireplace over the um, the covered damper for his gas logs, and works really good. It's been in there about five years now, and it gets up, it can get high temperatures. It's safe to use, but here is the thermostat. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Um, let's see here. Can I see that? But you just take it right here. It's adjustable from 90 to 100. Let me get this light up here where y'all can see. I'm in a tight spot, y'all. How's that? Any better? And there you go. Y'all can see see um, the adjustments right there. I hope, so. I hope you can. But anyway, y'all get the idea. You can adjust them from. I get it set at about a hundred, a hundred degrees, I believe. Yes, yeah, set at a hundred. Anyway, works pretty nice. Oh no! Ooh, wind just kicked up. Anyway, there, there it is. See, y'all gonna get the idea. Works great too. And it's, it's adjustable. And uh, I got, yeah, I got it set at a hundred and hundred degrees. It'll come on. Um, and you can also set it to the 900. It's at a uh, hundred and no, I don't. I got to set it at 110. Excuse me, y'all. I got to set it at 110. All right. Now anyway, I'm gonna show you how it works. Oh man, that tight spot back here. Okie dokie. Right, here we go. I'm going to take my lighter. You don't see that still. But anyway, and here's the blower motor right here. Y'all going to see it butter. Right here. Alright. Now we're going to take and 
This thing's in the way. I'm sorry about that, y'all. <clears throat> Whoops. I don't want to drop that, boy. Just got that. All right, I'll take my lighter. It said it's 110. And there we go. And when it gets cooled off, it'll shut off here in a minute. And if you can see how I got it built on there, let me take this camera off this tripod. No, I won't leave it there. But anyway, how I got it built, I bent the metal out and I spot welded it. It just shut off. But I spot welded it. Right there, and right there, I drilled holes and the spot welded it. Then I got the top closed off, right there. And I, that way I can change the thermostat in and out. I didn't want to cut a hole in my ductwork because I just didn't want to do it that way. So anyway, that all worked pretty good, but I'll, try, I'll let y'all see this again. All right, here we go. Oh, see, yes, I'll zoom in on it. And I got it set at 110, I believe. Yep, 110. All right, here we go. She is. She'll come on in 110, and all the heat from the stove, radiant heat, will heat this up inside here and uh, do its thing. It'll run. It'll run a while. It'll run a while. Then it will shut off. I mean, when it gets the, when it, the, the tubes get cooled off, they'll shut off. Shut off. Just like that. All right, here we go again. So, I'll give it a chance for everything to heat up and do it like it should. And 110 degrees is a good temperature. It won't scald you, in other words. And I'll let it run here in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I could. There you go. So, anyway, that's how I did my thermostat for my blower and which stove. Now, I might have went overkill, <laughs> but better be safe than sorry. And I even got it grounded right here. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. Got it grounded. And I got it, I got it taped off. If you, want to bear, you don't want any bare connections, that'll definitely shock you. So, anyway. Leave me some comments and let me know how you like it. And I just wanted to show you a little update on my thermostat for my biomass hybrid heater. And there she is. And there's the oil, waste of oil heat, waste of oil um, tank. And it goes down into my stove along with my wood when I'm burning the wood. So anyway, it's the Vire 94. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all some updates of what I did. I just want to share that with y'all. All right, let's see here. All right. Well, anyway, that's updates of the Vire. Get this, oh, dang, going this old camera. But anyway, I just wanted to give y'all updates of the Vire 94 biomass hybrid wood heater. Wood. Burns wood, waste oil heat. I mean, waste oil or uh, cooking cooking oil that's been used. Burnt cooking oil, veg, vegetable oil. Um, it does burns all kind of good stuff. But anyway, I thank y'all for watching, and y'all um, please subscribe 
or thanks for, thanks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, you can look me up on if you got any questions or just want to talk about solar or wind or wood stoves or anything, gardening, uh, John Deere tractors. I'm around 24-7. So give me a holler. This is um, KVSMC or Virelocity. And you can look me up. On, my name is Kenneth W. Vire Jr. V is in victory, I-A-R, Jr. You can look me up on Skype or Facebook. And let me know what you, and just, you know, hey, just want to say hello. Y'all take care, and thanks for watching, y'all. All right, y'all have a good one.